Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I thank you and I praise you for this week that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, that we are halfway through our week and you have been our companion and our guide and our refuge throughout it all. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your kindness and your mercy towards us. I ask you, Father God, that you will open up our hearts and our minds for the devotional that you have in store for us. Father, allow us to really learn how to have a relationship with you. Allow us to have the understanding and the courage to apply the things to our lives, Lord, that you want us to apply, to accept the things that we need to change, Lord, and to really have discernment in what is from you and what is not from you. Father, help us to know you, help us to learn to love you and to have the respect for you that you deserve. Father, may all that we do bring honor and glory to you. Thank you, Lord, again for your faithfulness and your companion. Thank you, Father, for being our God and taking care of all the little details of our life. Father, we love you and we praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, In God We Have Refuge. It was written by Eunice Perez Lopez and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Psalms chapter 91, verses 1 and 2. So says the word of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. In the long journey of life, we find moments of loneliness and sadness, and we try to find support in some particular person to be our refuge in times of affliction. However, I am sure that many times seeking refuge in another human has not had the best results. Do you know why? Because the only safe refuge is in the Lord of hosts. Psalms 91 tells us at all times he is there for us. The writer of that beautiful psalm was convinced that only by seeking the things of the kingdom of God would he find a safe place to rest. Because the promises of the Almighty are faithful and true. He said to Moses, my presence will go with you, Exodus thirty three fourteen, And he went. He told Joshua, Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And he was by his side all the time. He told Gideon, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. And he won. You know why? Because Jehovah is our shepherd, and we will lack nothing. And even when our father and our mother forsake us, the Lord will take care of us. Psalms 27.10 He is for us like a mighty giant to defend us. And I am convinced that in God we have a safe refuge until eternity. Amen. My brothers and sisters, what a beautiful reminder that in God alone, we have refuge. In Him, we can abide, we can be with Him, and His presence will be with us no matter what. We have been told time and time again throughout all of Scripture not to be afraid, not to be discouraged or dismayed, because the Lord will be with us wherever we go. We have been told through Scripture that he will never leave us or forsake us. And we have that promise. God is not like a man that will lie to us. His word is sure. His word is true. His word is faithful. So my brothers and sisters, whatever it is 
that you are about to face, whatever situation you have been thrown in, whether it's your own doing or somebody else's, whether it's your control or out of your control, we know that in God, through God, we have refuge. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue to journey through the book of Job. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.